Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about the musical Brooklynite, which ran from January 30th, 2015 to March 29th, 2015, um, with choreography by Stephen Hoggett. Um, and it won um, an off-Broadway nomination for Best New Musical. Um, I first came across this musical my freshman year at Wesleyan. Um, we were talking about Spider-Man the Musical and Stagecraft with Keith. And so afterwards, I researched the musical because I found it really interesting. Um, I really liked the whole idea of the musical. It seemed really cool. Um, and I came across this musical, which is um, another superhero, mu superhero musical. Um, it follows a woman who has superpowers but wants to give them up and live a normal life. And a guy who is um, a hardware clerk at a store and he wants to be a superhero and so they end up crossing paths and working together and then they end up saving the world so let's get into the presentation so first we're going to start off with the creators of the show peter lorman and michael mayer they actually co-created the show together um book and music um peter is a graduate of columbia university during his time there he wrote the music and lyrics for the columbia varsity show and after he graduated he went on to receive the ial diamond award for achievement in the arts and for his work in theater he won a lot of awards um you can see some of them listed below um i thought the jonathan larson award was interesting because i know jonathan larson from musical tick tick boom and rent um and he also won the sondheim young artist citation award which i thought was interesting and i also thought it was intriguing how he contributed to a lot of um shows i know like Modern Family, House Hunters, and Hipsters. I don't know Hipsters, though. Um, and for those shows, he contributed mostly sound and music. And um, you can see below, he done some workshops for shows. Um, yeah. And then for Michael, he was born in Bethesda, Maryland in 1969, making him 59 years old right now. Um, and this part below it about his bar mitzvah, I just um, included that because I thought it was interesting how the first thing he asked his parents for was a movie camera. And with that, he made his first film. Um, and so he went to Charles W. Woodward High School and got an MFA in theater from NYU's acting program in 1983. Um, and he began performing on stage in New York City, um, but then kind of went into directing. I talked about this in my directing class paper um, last week about how I feel most directors or stage managers usually start out in acting and then find their way into tech, um, which is pretty cool, but I don't know, weird, I guess. Um, <laughs> um, and in Broadway, he has a lot of Broadway credits and off-Broadway. I couldn't really list them all on here because I didn't have room to, but here's some listed below. So here are some reviews of the musical Brooklynite. We have some criticisms, some praises, and then um, one in the middle. And there's more than these you can find online. Um, so it's kind of mixed reviews. There's some people who saying it's it's funny. Um, they like they like the light hardness of it, um, the childlike sense of it, and some people say that it lacks dimension. It's elementary writing, and it's you're not gonna like it if you're an adult, basically. Um, and then there are some unbiased reviews either way. I like it, but I mean, I, I kind of like anything that's kind of modern. Um, it's kind of hard for me to not like a musical unless it's just bad or if it's um, dated. So if it's old, um, I came across this musical in my freshman year of college here um, in Stagecraft with Keith. He was talking about Spider-Man the musical and I kind of researched that because I thought it was pretty cool. And so I came across this um, and that's actually mentioned in... Um, one of these videos as well. I forgot which one. I think it's the Andrew Andrew Tube Tube. They mentioned Spider-Man in comparison to the show. Here's the cast. We're not the full cast, but here's some of the cast of Brooklynite. Um, I kind of just include these people because um, Nicolette Robinson and Matt Doyle, um, they are both the two main characters of the musical. So they're, of course, on there. And I include the last two because I wanted to show some of the div diversity in the cast, which I really love. And Nicolette, actually, in the show, rocks an afro, which I love because you don't see that a lot in natural hairstyles. And she actually recently starred in Waitress, so I put that on there. I meant to take it off, though. But <laughs> that's a, a note I wanted to put in there, which is pretty cool. And here's some media from the show, some photos. Um, we have the soundtrack on the left and the uh, just a scene on the right but it's just them singing together it's the picture below it actually is from that um yeah so i like the musical i would recommend it to someone else 
Um, if you're not really into a high schoolish um, level type show, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, it's not bad, but it's not something that has a lot of dimension, I would agree. Um, it's very like lighthearted, but there is a part where it's kind of serious, but yeah. So that's all. So I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Um, also, whenever I said high school level, what I meant by that was it's on, it's the writing is, so it could be performed at um, like a high school regional performance or at a competition. Not that it's badly written. That's what I meant by that. Um, so yeah, just wanted to put that in there. Um, I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I'll see you later. Bye.